Welcome! Tonight we're taking a look at the Winko 13 inch rolling pin. I've had this item for a couple weeks now and as soon as I got out of the box I was impressed. It's very durable, very functional. I didn't expect I'd get something like this for just $7. Now I love making pizza. Specifically, thin crust pizza. That was my favorite. And this rolling pin is perfect for rolling out those really thin pizza crusts. As I'm going to show in a little bit. This video is going to be split up into four parts. First, we're going to go over the specifications. Second, we're going to do a quick demo. Third, we're going to talk about functionality. And fourth, we're going to talk about fit and finish. So let's begin with some measurements. As its description suggests, the roller itself measures in at 13 inches. And its overall length comes in at about 21 inches. Now that's a little long to fit in most drawers, so if you're buying it for home use, you're going to have to find a spot for it. The width of the rolling pin comes in at about 3 inches. And as I'm sure you noticed, this rolling pin has two handles, and they're connected together through a shaft that runs through the center of the roller. Now for a quick demo, we got our pizza dough over here, floured it on both sides. We got our rolling pin, and we're going to roll this out. Every once in a while I like to flip it over and make sure it's still covered in flour. Rotate a little bit so it comes out nice and round. I'm rolling this out, I barely have to place any weight on the rolling pin. It does almost all the work for me. And that's all there is to it. We got ourselves a nice thin pizza crust over here. Moving on to functionality. There's a few things I really like about this hat. First of all, the handles are really comfortable. They roll really, really smoothly. I don't feel any resistance in the handles as I roll the pin. It has a nice heavy weight to it. As you saw, rolling out dough with this item is seamless. Very comfortable to use. And finally, it rolls out the dough smoothly and consistently. In the pizza crust I've laid out, I didn't see any artifacts, any imperfections, any dents. As far as I can tell, this roller is a perfect cylinder. Moving on to the last section, fit and finish. Out of the box, I didn't see any dents, cracks, or splits in the roller. Everything works just fine. There is, however, a minor issue with one of the handles I observed. It's not very well finished. It's kind of rough. I probably need to sand it a little bit to get it nice and smooth. And one final note, you'll notice that out of the box your rolling pin is going to come dry. So just like a cutting board, just like a wooden cutting board, it does need the occasional mineral oil. So just wipe it down with a cloth, a little bit of mineral oil, and it'll prevent the wood from drying up and splitting. To sum things up, I'm very happy with this rolling pin. I expect to get many years of use out of it.